I just got off a client call and we came to the coolest conclusion. Now, every call with every person is going to be different based on circumstances. But we came up with a visual that I think is going to be useful for a lot of you. And you can think of it as another way to think about filling your cup. So think about someone in your life. And I'm going to, without giving names, I'm going to be a little specific as to where this, how this evolved with this client. I've been coaching this client for, I think she's my longest standing client. Just tear off some paper so I can do some really bad drawings for you. Um, it's been over three years, maybe more that I've been coaching with this client. It might be four. So I know her really well. And we kind of have a joke between us that's dad's being dad. So there's quite a few client calls. There's quite a few calls that in some way, shape, or form come back to dad being dad. This is the first time we've talked about it this way. Now, we were talking about how dads, actually, I'm going to leave her notes here. She was noting that dad's expectations and dad's persistence and dad's immaturity are really draining. They're like literally exhausting her. They're overwhelming her. <laughs> My really bad vessels. Okay, right? So we have these two vessels. Right now, dad is being dad. And dad being dad means that these drops, we're gonna call these drops. I need a whiteboard dad okay and this is the vessel of this client dad comes in with dad's persistence expectations um belief systems immaturity um uh, annoying chatter whatever the things are right opinions now when this client's cup is only this full and in comes dad's pick whatever food coloring color you want dad's color that's colorful nature I mean this is again this is for any person in your life who's annoying to you it could be a kid it could be a parent it could be a sibling it could be a co-worker when dad comes in with dad's color and it hits the water if her cup is only this full, it takes over. Dad takes over. Now, if dad comes in being dad with the same exact number of drops into the cup, but her level is full, dad. Dad's color doesn't take over. We think about the full cup a lot. <laughs> like, oh boy, me drawing a saucer is going to be even more ridiculous than me drawing a... <laughs> we often see this sort of teacup situation, right? And it's like, you got to fill your cup. And then some people even say, before you're saying yes to people, before you're giving your energy to people, before you're, um, before you're, some people even say, whatever, you get the idea, right? Not only does your cup need to be full, it needs to be overflowing into the saucer. And you don't even give from the cup, you only give from the saucer. So that's kind of like analogy a lot of people have heard about filling your cup. And what I really liked about this client session today was it was another way to look at filling your cup, right? Dad is the exact same dad, no matter what. The homework I gave this client was to fill her own cup. Now, how is she going to do that? When I was on with her, she was saying things like, okay, so his expectations are draining. And I said, why? Because, right? Because he's immature, because he's persistent, because he directs it at me. 
and this is annoying. This can be annoying when you're on a coaching call, but it's like, and why is that draining? And at first she was like, because I care what he thinks. And I was like, okay, let's just imagine he's sitting in a chair thinking. Do you, is it a problem for you if he's over there sitting in a chair thinking? Especially he's not even in your house. He's just thinking somewhere. No, him thinking is not a problem. And then she was like, yeah, but it's a problem because I care. Okay. Do you really care? Do you really care how his opinions? And we just got to this place is like, okay, no, I don't actually really care. And then it got to this place of like, oh, it's because... I don't trust that I'm good enough. I don't trust that I'm a good enough daughter. I don't trust that I'm facilitating good enough relationships with my kid and my parent. I don't trust that I'm a good enough citizen, a good enough patron, a good enough um, parishioner, like all the things, right? If I trusted me, if I filled my cup with my beliefs in me, all of dad's opinions, all of his thoughts, all of the differences still come in, but they don't take over. They don't run the show because there's so much more of you. <laughs> and when you over here and in comes dad and your cup is not full, you're questioning yourself. You're doubting yourself. You're not sure if you're worthy of all the love. You're not sure if you're a good enough parent. You're not sure if you're a good enough daughter. And in comes dad, it's potent, right? It's potent. So I hope this makes sense. I think this is a really cool way to think about filling your cup, to think to, like it's a cool way to figure out how to dilute some of the impact things have on you, people, systems, um, organizations, right? Because there's a lot of things that, so this goes for, this goes for two, right? Like if we come back to abortion work, um, if I just stuck to, you know, pro-life, um, propaganda, or if I stuck to conservative government, or if I stuck to, um, e evangelical Christianity, like, purity i don't know there's there's lots of ways we could do this right all of this shit doesn't bother me so much when my cup is full when i'm doing work i love in the world when i believe in my message when i believe in the ways i'm helping people the ways i'm making the world a better place it doesn't affect me so much when their nonsense comes in but if i don't love the way i'm showing up to my life the way I'm showing up to the social systems, the way I'm showing up to the movement and they drop their shit on me, it's gonna color my world, All right? Well, <laughs> have fun with this. Let me know what, how you apply it, where it applies for you. Cause I think it's a very cool way to think about filling your cup and the impact that will have on your relationships and on how draining some of your relationships can feel.